In this video, I'll show you how to update Roblox on PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And what you're going to find out in this video is how to go and update Roblox generally, and also how to go and update it because of an error code you're getting while playing. So normally, Roblox is going to update when you go and click on a game and when you go and press play. When it's loading, as you can see, this is where it's gonna go and update itself if it needs to. However, it won't always need to. So normally to go and update Roblox, all you need to do is go and launch a game. However, that isn't always going to work. So if that doesn't work for you, then all you need to do is go and uninstall Roblox and then reinstall it. So to do that, all you need to do is come and open up your computer settings. So I'm gonna click my Windows icon here, and then you want to go and search for settings, or mine's just here, so I'm gonna click on it, and here we are. And then all you want to do is come this left-hand menu here and go and tap on apps. And from apps, you want to go click on apps and features, and then this is going to show you all of your apps. It may take a moment to load. As you can see, it's going to show you all your apps. I'm going to go and search for Roblox, just like so, and hopefully it's going to appear at the top. As you can see, Roblox Player. Then all you need to do is come and click on these three dots on the right hand side, and then you can go and click uninstall. You need to click uninstall again, and then as you can see, it's now uninstalling Roblox. So this is just a great way to make sure that Roblox is definitely updating itself because we're uninstalling it, and then we're gonna go and re-download it. So now all we need to do is head back to the Roblox website. So here we are back on Roblox, and all we need to do is go and play a game, and then that's gonna go and trigger the download and install of the launcher. So let's go and click on speed run. We'll click play, and as you can see, it's now gonna take a moment to load because we just uninstalled it. You'll get this menu here saying download and install Roblox. You press that button, and as you can see, the launch is now going to download. It's important to know that everyone's browser it's slightly different so you may need to go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder to go and find the download however in my case it was in the bottom of my browser because that's how google chrome works but yours may vary so tap on it and here it is it's now connecting configuring and installing so by installing it again it's going to download the latest version if previously it was glitching and it wasn't this will definitely get you the latest version and then once it's finished it's going to go and say roblox is successfully installed click the play button on any game to go and join the action so press ok and now you can go try it However, if you're still getting the problem of getting an error message saying Roblox is not up to date, please update it, then you need to go and make sure your time is set correctly on your computer. So to go and do that, all you need to do is come to this um, time down here, right click on it, and then you can go and click adjust date and time. You can also go and change these settings from the settings we just were on. I'm gonna click here and here we are. This is gonna go and take you straight to the right place. And then all you need to do is make sure you've got set the time automatically switched on, and that's gonna go and get you the time and the date automatically. Essentially, for you to go and connect to the server, your time must be correct on your computer, and then it's gonna go and convert it for the time zone as well as the date. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider subscribing. Peace.